Hello, just going to give you a bit of a, an overview of my Reptile Dragon version 2. Um, so this is the plane I've bought to replace my old Alma bird. Um, just for a change more than anything, I've had two Alma birds now for over a year. I've flown thousands of kilometres with them. Um, and just want to try something a little bit different. Um, the other reason is I wanted something that could take an HD camera um, in the fuselage, um, which this can. And as you can see down here, there is the GoPro Hero 6 mounted right in the nose. Um, with the other, I had to have the camera right on top, which uh, of course uh, takes the streamlining. Um, so, to give you a bit of an overview of the build, so inside here, tucked back in there, is a Matek um, F405 WSE and behind that in this section here is the Telefly Pro um, which is the airborne module for my uh, my Fly Dream antenna tracker and I've used this section here which is normally used to mount an antenna uh, for the button so the way that works is um, when I power up the plane it gets a GPS fix I have play near the antenna tracker, hold down that button, and it sets the home location on the tracker. Um, and then just launch the plane and, and off, it, off it goes and it will follow it. Um, this is the PNP kit, so it has the 2306 1250kb motors, uh, which are actually made by Sunny Sky. If you look at the cables, they do say Sunny Sky on them. And I've just 3D printed these little um, nacelles, are they called? Something like that. Um, just to make it look pretty, really. Um, for Radio Link, I'm using Dragon Link. So I've got the Dragon Link uh, radio set under there. And for video, I'm of course using, as you can see by the massive antenna, uh, 1.3 uh, gigahertz. I've currently got a part on uh, VTX under there. However, in about a day or two, I'm expecting the delivery of a Matek um, 1.3 VTX, so I'll probably use that instead. Um, I have one of the Sidefeed Singularity antennas. I was considering bearing it in a wing. However, the wing is just too thin, let me look on the edge there, to be able to set it in completely flush, which I'd want to do. I don't really want it just sticking out. Um, so I thought, well, this one just gives it a bit of elevation, um, and I had it, so I thought I'd just use it. Um, quite unusual, I mean, this is the largest plane I've had, um, made from EPP, and it's quite different to previous twins I've had, which have all been EPO, which uh, feels a bit um, firmer in a strange way. I mean, I know obviously EPP is a very strong foam, but it's also kind of squishy. <laughs> Uh, so I'm sure it will fly absolutely fine. I haven't actually flown it yet, so it's still waiting for the maiden. Um, what I really like are these wing connectors, and they just unscrew. There's a six-pin connector in there. It's a really great setup. What I don't like quite so much is the GPS cover, which I don't know why they couldn't just set that flush. There's so much room underneath there yeah, in the foam. There's no reason that couldn't have been set flush and just made it more streamlined. Um, the battery I'm going to be using in this is a um, 14,000 milliamp uh, 4S uh, lithium ion, and that sits about about there to balance the CG. So you know it's it's quite well set up, and it will handle that absolutely fine. And with that battery, the all-up weight is um, it's only uh, only about 1,800 grams thereabouts so not too bad at all. Um, some things I'm not quite so fussed on with it are um, the control horns. They are, um, I don't know, I mean, they're probably absolutely fine. The Albert had quite nice substantial metal ones that were set in a, a wooden platform um, and they were metal, they were quite thin and they were a bit unusual, but they worked really, really well. Um, some people didn't like them. I quite liked them. Uh, these obviously have a much smaller area uh, 
of control, you know, the, the, the point of contact is much, much smaller, sort of half or a third of the size of the uh, contact area with the elbow bird control horns. Um, so we'll see how they stand up. I mean, I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. The other thing um, is this control horn is actually meant to be underneath. And then obviously you'd have the server one on the bottom, which seems strange to me because that means it's just going to get ripped off on landing. I, let, I fly in quite uh, rough um, areas. It's a lot of scrubland. So I don't think that would last very long at all. So I've, I've just mounted it the other way around. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. I've still got lots of control through, so um, we'll see how that goes. Um, one quite nice thing is that the servos are held in by these plates, so you don't have to glue the servos in, so changing those is a nice, quick and easy um, easy thing to do. Um, so, yes, that's, that's about it, really. Um, the maiden will be coming up soon, and um, we'll see how she flies.